Anthropomorphism Definition Anthropomorphism occurs when something that is non-human behaves like a human. The human characteristics are typically attributed to animals and objects that act as living, breathing human characters. Authors incorporate anthropomorphic characters to create connection and make their work more accessible. The use of anthropomorphism allows writers to create a connection between the characters and the audience, providing more of an emotional and visceral feeling. For example, an anthropomorphized storm that angrily crushes buildings under its feet and hurls lightning across the sky allows readers to visualize the weather and view it as something that desires to bring chaos and destruction. Children's authors utilize anthropomorphic animals and characters to make complex ideas easier for young readers to understand. It also helps to retain their attention with whimsical ideas that don't exist in the real world. For example, perseverance may be a challenging concept for a child to understand. An anthropomorphic train that pushes itself, knowing it can succeed as long as it does not give up, can be easier to grasp, as in Waddy Piper's The Little Engine That Could. There are four main types of anthropomorphism. Literal anthropomorphism is when something either has a human form or the behavior of a human. An example is Disney's Mickey Mouse. Metaphorical anthropomorphism, also known as personification, occurs when an inanimate object or natural phenomenon has human characteristics. For example, the tree danced. An anthropomorphic analogy identifies that something is like a human being in some way such as the tree danced like a ballerina. Symbolic anthropomorphism is when a human or human-like figure symbolically represents something else. For example, the Greek god Ares is an anthropomorphic symbol of war. Let's see a few more examples of anthropomorphism. Most of the characters in A. A. Milne's Winnie the Pooh are anthropomorphized animals, such as Pooh, Piglet, and Tigger. Orwell utilizes anthropomorphic representation of farm animals to represent various historical figures made prominent by the Russian Revolution in Animal Farm. Poets may use anthropomorphism in poetry, such as John Keats's Star in Bright Star, Would I Were Steadfast as Thou Art. Video games use anthropomorphism too like characters in Sonic the Hedgehog and Donkey Kong.